Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Chris and today we are going to see why Caspa is the only real Ethereum killer. In this video, I'm going to compare Caspa uh, with Ethereum and you are going to see by yourself that Caspa is superior than Ethereum with the current technology that it has, okay? With the current implementations of the Ghost DAG and the Golang language. After the hard forks that are coming, which Caspa is about to be upgraded in the next coming months or years with the Dagnite protocol and also with the Rust language. Caspa would jump 100 steps forward and gonna leave all the rest layer ones behind. So on this video, we are going to see all of these things. Also, you are going to see why Caspa is superior, not only from Ethereum, but from all other layer ones. I'm gonna show you examples uh, one by one. And also guys, as you can clearly see right now, Caspa is starting at 0 0.035 cents. It's ranked 65 top 65 coins even in the bear market the rest coins are dumping and caspa is pumping and shows massive strength into the rest people and to remind you before three days if i don't do any mistake caspa was above 80 and i told you the next coming days we are going straight under top 70 coins and also in the next coming weeks or months caspa is going straight to under top 30 coins and mark my words for that okay which is going to be approximately 2 billion to 2.5 billion so in this video we are going to see why a caspa is the only ethereum killer and if you're interested for that all you have to do is to remain until the end of the video and before we continue i would like to declare that i'm not financial advisor whatever you are going to see on this video is my own personal opinion my personal approach always do your own research before any kind of financial investment and guys do not forget to check my patreon group because here you're gonna find my private telegram community where you're gonna have access to speak with me 24 7 you can ask me absolutely everything on that group uh we are here lots of guys we have multi-millionaires lots of guys with very high experience all together we are speaking for crypto related things so it's very helpful especially if you are a beginner also you're gonna have access to my crypto portfolio in real time you're gonna see that i'm full transparent whatever i do i sold that and i'm explaining you why i do every move that I do in my crypto portfolio and obviously you're going to have access to my buy signals, take profit signals and sell signals. And guys, do not forget that in the buy signals, I gave you signals in Caspa 0 0.016 cents and 0 0.020 cents after a pullback. OK, so if you are interested to enter in the perfect times, my, this Patreon group is for you. And it, also, if you are looking to upgrade your knowledge, to have fun, to build connections, to to make gains, this Patreon group is for you and I'm waiting to see you there. So initially, let's start, guys, why Caspa is better than Ethereum and why Caspa is the only real Ethereum killer. I'm going to start with a basic board, OK, it, which is this one. And you are going to see that Caspa is actually uh, actually has an instant transaction settlement, which Ethereum does not have. OK, and also, as you can clearly see, uh, Caspa has proof of work system and Ethereum has proof of stake, which means that Ethereum is more centralized from now and then. Okay, especially when Ethereum changed from a proof of work to proof of a stake, actually they sign up their centralization. So it is what it is. But if you would like to be decentralized in a complex the main vision of the Bitcoin, which was to have a system and a world that is completely decentralized and is going against the governments, against the politicians, banks and all of these corrupted entities that actually exploit the authority that they got at that specific time. OK, to uh, they exploit that not for the people, but for themselves. And we need to do something to change that. And. The way to go is Caspa, is Bitcoin, is that way, okay? Not centralization. If you are looking for centralization, there is also the stocks, there are also the bonds, the treasuries, all of this stuff. But for me, definitely, I choose Caspa because it's completely decentralized and it's led by the people. And also, you are going to see the block creation speed, which is for Caspa one block per second, and for Ethereum is one block per 12 seconds. That's happening only with the Ghost DAG protocol. With the Dark Knight and with the Rust language, guys, Caspa will do easy 10 blocks per second, which is going to set apart from Ethereum 112 
times faster in a block creation, so it's going to be obviously more scalable. And in the future, Caspa is uh, heading straight to 30 blocks or even 100 blocks, which is the vision uh, of the Jonathan Soboliski. And I, I say 100 blocks, and I mean 100 blocks per second. Okay, as we understand, this is f crazy, insane. Uh, 100 blocks per second. It's going to set apart the rest layer ones 100 at least steps uh, behind. So, subsequently, the trilemma of the blockchains is solved only by Caspa, okay? Because Caspa is the first block deck and it's solving the major trilemma that blockchains had until now, which was the scalability, security, decentralization. Right now, with all these new protocols and technologies, Caspa can uh, use the same fundamentals of the Bitcoin, so it secured the security and the decentralization. But with the new innovations, Caspa actually also has the scalability, which solves the trilemma. And that's insane. And also, guys, we have the Fairlands of the Caspa. No pre-mine, no ICO, no nothing. Ethereum had an ICO, which is a vulnerable for an SEC attack, okay? I don't say that if it's going to happen, an SEC attack on Ethereum, for example, if SEC uh, call Ethereum as a security, uh, will happen something significant or not. But um, you have to know that that on, in Ethereum tokens, we have a pre-allocation and you can clearly see that before the launch of Ethereum, the 16% was in the team and in the foundation and in the early contributors of Ethereum. So as you understand, this type of coins can dump the price anytime that they would like to take profits. Uh, which is pretty bad. And also the rest of 83% was the crowd sales. This is the ICO. This is why uh, we are speaking that this type of ICOs is not a fair lens because uh, only the people who have got power can actually be involved and take incredible profits when a project is about to lens. This is a dirty game in some way, if you can call this. That's why Caspa is 100% uh, Fairlands and it's 100% community-driven project. So, the only thing that right now Ethereum is better, guys, is actually the smart contracts. Okay. Ethereum uh, is superior than Caspa because of smart contracts. Because Caspa right now doesn't have smart contracts but they are going to have in the future okay it's not priority right now to implement uh smart contracts but there is on the plan and is on the plan but with two ways to actually integrate the smart contracts into the caspa the first way i'm going to explain that very fast is like with layer twos integrate rollups technology and through that they're going to integrate the smart contracts and the option number two is actually caspa to collaborate in some way with ethereum and use the ethereum smart contracts in some way like that have it in your mind but all the economic activities gonna remain on ethereum chain so in that way, uh, Caspa is going to look like, like a parachain of Ethereum. And for me personally, it's not the good option. Okay, Obviously, I prefer the first option of those two. If we are going to see smart contracts, uh, to see the smart contracts with the layer twos and uh, to use actually the rollups. And if you ask my, own, my honest opinion about the smart contracts for Caspa, guys, personally, I don't care about smart contracts, okay? I care that Caspa can solve the trilemma, scalability, security, and decentralization it can actually be the real digital silver, okay? This is my main goal, and this is what I'm looking as an investor from Caspa. So, if in the future we are going to see smart contracts, it's okay, it's a plus in... Um, my requirements from that project okay i believe the more significant things is the scalability while it's uh, sustained security and the decentralization as satoshi nakamoto envision how we are going to use a peer-to-peer -peer system okay while we have also a phenomenal scalability levels this is actually uh how i view the things and this is what i'm looking from caspa so as we understand guys caspa right now is standing at approximately 700 billion the price is pumping all over the time i don't say that uh we won't see any pullback okay it can happen obviously it can happen for me personally i don't care 
I dollar cost average. If I see any significant dip, I buy big bag for um, Caspa because I don't want to miss any kind of a drop because any drop of Caspa can be the last one. Uh, subsequently, the price can skyrocket into levels, especially if the exchange is going to enter into levels that uh, we will never ever come back at uh, under 10 cents. So uh, all of these prices are big still. And I would like to show you that, guys, in the first bull run of Ethereum, Ethereum had all-time high in 2017 when the total market cap had at 700 billion back in the days in 2017. Uh, Ethereum had an all-time high 130 billion, and also Ethereum at that point wasn't a complete project. This is exactly what's happening right now with Caspa. But guys, Caspa right now uh, is not a complete project. But even with the current technology that Caspa has, is superior than the other layer ones. So. For me, that's why yesterday I showed you uh, how to become a millionaire with Caspa and I showed you prices that most people sucked out and they told me that this is impossible to Caspa surpass the 100 billion. Guys, it's not. Ethereum surpassed the 100 billion in 2017 when the total market cap was 700 billion. In the next bull run, I'm expecting to see above 10 trillion in the crypto space. So I believe, guys, Caspa can have easy above 200 billion price. So yes, is the real Ethereum killer, and it's gonna be the real Ethereum killer after the. Uh, upgrades that are coming, the hard forks that are coming, the ghost knight and the rust language uh, that is about to rewrite in the code base. So this is exactly what I would like to tell you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below in the comment section what you believe about Caspa and also how many Caspa coins you own. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you for every like and every comment. I will see you guys all in my next video. Until then, your boy Chris out. Bye.